Lloyd Chambers at DigiLloyd.com here. That's DigiLloyd.com. I'm looking at the Acrotec ball head. I've had it for about 10 years and hadn't really used it, favoring my Arca Swiss Cube. But the Cube has given me a lot of trouble lately. In the cold, its gearing gets really stiff and it looks like I'd have to replace the gears again uh, for at a tune of $450 for the third or fourth time. So I pulled out this Acrotec and I thought it couldn't do anything I wanted, but it's a uh, remarkably designed, it might be the most intelligently designed head on the, that I've ever seen now that I've uh, been using it and figuring it out. Uh, first of all, it's got a leveling base. So leveling base is built right in, costs you virtually nothing in, in terms of weight. And you, you can see there's a, uh, a level here and here. Uh, you've got a knob that lets it rotate around like so all right that's wonderful and you can tighten that and you can tighten that now you've also got this control that only, only lets it go one way but you can go either direction and you've got a tension knob to control it as well and of course uh, Arca Swiss compatible clamp which has been working fine with all my my stuff I'm not sure I'm real keen on this uh, little safety mechanism here. It clips into some plates, but it's there. Uh, now, what I didn't realize at first is I thought this was an, a no-go for uh, using what's called a nodal slider. When you put one of these uh, sliders in to keep the entrance pupil, some, some people call it the, 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 uh, the nodal point, which isn't quite correct. It's the entrance pupil. I thought this was a problem because you notice that it can go this way, and I've adjusted it to do that, but as it turns out, there's a little doohickey down here that can be unscrewed, and this top plate can be rotated 90 degrees. And that's important, because sometimes you want it one way or the other. So with this mechanism, you can now put, the, put a nodal, nodal slider in there, and uh, you know, let's say you've got a, like on the Sigma 12, 24, you've got to be way back. And that lets you keep the entrance people, so you can rotate around the entrance people for uh, panos and stitching and stuff like that. Uh, you notice also it's got degrees on here, so you could, if you if you if you want to, you can uh, actually make your ups and downs by degrees using a, the indicator mark over there. So uh, it's a remarkably versatile little head, and as you can see. It doesn't look very heavy, and I can tell you, it is not very heavy. It's about, I don't know, three quarters of a pound less than my Arca Swiss Cube. And it packs up real nice, and uh, it's just, just great. So it takes a little time getting used to the fiddly, not fiddly, but you've got th three different controls. So leveling base, okay, and then you got another knob over here to control that you're your angle, and then you've got the other knob to over here to control uh, uh, movement, you know, in 360 degree fashion. The only criticism I have is that occasionally I've started to loosen this knob, which holds the camera in, when I meant to loosen this knob, because they, they're exactly the same size and feel. So I've been meaning to put some. Uh, some kind of tape or something on there, so just by feel, I don't accidentally go, but 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 then plunk down goes the camera. Yeah, it's just that's user error, and I think uh, that could probably be improved. The other minor criticism I have, and this is about a 10, 8, and 12 year old model, is that the top of it does not have uh, laser engraved markings with which to uh, align your. Uh, your, your uh, nodal slider markings, or, or say the center of a, a camera plate, uh, which is important sometimes. So, but maybe newer models do, and it could you could inscribe one, but I wish it had that. Um, so that is the uh, where's that brand name here? Acrotec. Come on, camera. That's an iPhone video for you. Acrotec. Uh, Ink. Uh, and uh, this is about 10 years old. He might have improved it. Uh, highly recommended. It saves me a lot of weight over the cube in the field, and uh, I'm really liking it. Again, this is Lloyd Chambers at 
ditchlight.com. Might as well take a look at the view here. This is up above uh, Pine Creek Canyon. Look at those clouds, they're awesome. I'm going to shoot now. Hi.